Hard knocking drums. So hard that you can't hear your neighbors complaining about the noise. Yeah, we all want that. Today I will teach you how to make your drums punch through the mix. And let's start with trick number one and that is strategic equalizing. Strategic equalizing is finding the most prominent frequencies in a drum sample. If you want to make a kick stand out more without messing with the low end, take a bend and create a bell curve by dragging it up and using the scroll wheel to narrow it down. Then swipe through the mids to highs to find a clicky sound. Once you found it, turn down the band with a slider and then again with a scroll wheel expand the band. This will make it punchier. Another trick to make your kick stand out is simply boosting the highs to give it some air. But this can become overwhelming, so be careful with this. Oh, and the same ID counts for a clap. Boost the mid frequencies up just a little bit. For the hi-hats, cut away everything except for, of course, the highs. You can boost them up, but that's unnecessary because you could also just turn up the level. Oh, and we're gonna do something life-changing with these drums, but I'll save that for the end of the video. And now, trick number two, make the 808 punch. You can do that by finding the growly frequencies and then boosting them up. Or, and this one is a pro trick, right-click the 808 and duplicate it. Then send it to a second mixer. Select the notes of the first 808 and press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Click the second one and press Ctrl V. Next, open up an EQ on both of them and find the growl frequencies. Then cut them out of the first one. On the second one, create a high pass and a low pass band. Then cut away everything except for these frequencies. And boost them up just a little, just until they reach zero dB in the EQ. Now we isolated these frequencies and we're gonna distort them instead of the entire 808. Actually, all you need is fruity fast distortion and turn down the threshold. And that sounds amazing. Next, we're gonna glue our drums together. To do that, you wanna create a drum bus. Then select all the drum mixers and right click the drum bus. Select route to this track only. Now all the sounds are sent to this mixer. So if you disable it, you can't hear the drums anymore. This also means that you can put effects on the drum bus and they will work for all the drum samples. Now to glue them together, open up the fruity compressor. Create a very aggressive compression like this. And of course this won't sound good, but we'll fix that by turning down the mix knob completely and then slowly bringing it back up until you like the sound. If you want to make your snare punch more, simply add a transient processor to the mixer. Then increase the attack and that will make the snare snappier. The next technique you absolutely have to master is called sidechaining. And I actually made an entire video about that where you will learn everything about sidechaining, so go check it out. Subscribe, gonna go now. Ugh.